Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today is a kind of a rant video along with the, the movie review. Um, so let's get started. But no disclaimer today because I want you to know how crap this movie is. So yes, I will spoil the movie and it is for your own good. Starting off, uh, uh, there is no Will Smith or no Agent J, no Agent K, no all those guys who were there in MIB 1, 2, 3. Uh, this is a completely different take on Men in Black where there is a woman in black this time and still it's called Men in Black. Uh, so it begins with the, the heroics of Agent H played by Chris Hemsworth aka Thor from the Marvel Cinematic Universe. I'll get back to that later. And then there is an overexcited Tessa Thompson who is overexcited throughout the movie. Uh, Tessa Thompson is a kid who grew up wanting to be an um, agent in MIB and one day she does become. What happens is when she was a kid, there was an alien who had come in their area and uh, MIB folks had used the neuralizer, the little flash thing which erases your memory, on her parents and uh, the alien had escaped from her room. She didn't get neuralized, she remembers everything and she does a lot of research on uh, MIB and wants to join MIB one day. Now, uh, Agent H is in MIB London, Tessa Thompson Ed, or Molly as she called before she joins M agent, MIB as an agent, uh, she is in New York. <coughs> she somehow breaches into MIB campus looking for some aliens um, and she gets caught, she gets interviewed later sometime, she gets into MIB as a trainee or intern or whatever it is, she gets called Agent M. She has been transferred to London because MIB London has a problem. Yes, the London unit has a problem and uh, Agent M, the fresh joinee, is supposed to go there and solve the problem. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, I, even I thought so. And Chris Hemsworth, like I said, coming back to him, he's lost weight from the Thor, from the end game ending part of uh, the movie where Thor is look with all the fat belly stuff and all. But he's still in that drunk mood and he continues to drink. He's so lazy and uh, so irresponsible and he's one of the most revered agent in MIB. Mm. He's still drunk. He's so lazy in that. So, Liam Neeson, all his grumpy voice and all that, it's just that much in the movie that you have to go and watch for. He's in a drowsy mood, he just blurts out his dialogue, gives commands, yells at his, the people he who are reporting to him, all those things. Oh, come on. Now, so that's all Liam Neeson is there for. Tessa Thompson comes to London. Again, she is like that overexcited graduate who wants to go and start working in a company she's been recruited for. Like I said earlier, she is overexcited throughout the movie. And that's a bad thing. The action sequences are so lame, so lazy, that even the action director was like, he's doing it for the sake of doing it. The action sequences in the previous MIB movies were so good and so lifelike and filled with so much energy. These things are nowhere even close to be called action sequences and you can just say it's just a choreographed scene. And I just don't know why did they even get to this movie. The story is so dull. It's just an alien invasion. There's a problem in MIB. MIB is compromised. And they find a solution, they say, uh, get rid of the aliens who caused the uh, problems in MIB, end of the movie. Like, one person doesn't trust the other person, the MIB is compromised, 
and they want to find a problem to it come on come up with something new mib 1 2 3 had so much and mib 3 ended on a so great note you could have just picked it up from there and done something with it mib international if there is any other movie coming up i probably would want to see mib 3 getting into it with little bit trust because mib international is something totally different from the previous mib movie so there's not much of a link other than it being a man in black secret agent shit that it was before but it's just the name sake in this movie it's nothing what it was before they have a problem they have alien invasion blah 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 it's just that much action director was there just you know i don't know what they just shooting left right center uh tessa thompson is climbing rock mountains and all those things um i don't know what they were even doing it felt so bored some cars are coming this way some going that way you neuralizer and the neuralizer is like a toy for a kid when it comes to agent m who is played by tessa thompson she wants a neuralizer so badly and wants it to use on so many people like there is no way place where it's actually even required they go to morocco they go somewhere else there are dogs come on this is an mib movie you just ruined the whole experience now i don't even want anybody to watch them mib international even if there is why mib international 2 or anything whatever the coming up movies if any i don't want to watch them because you ruined mib international 1 itself so on this disappointing note i just want to say that this movie has been lame lazy stupid with some stupid references to the marvel cinematic universe where thor is thor's hammer and with the nail hammer agent h doing all this shit try and avoid this movie as much as possible do not go watch this it's so boring it's a waste of time waste of money waste of energy and you might get a headache and a fever after watching the movie and uh, yeah that's for the mib international movie lazy lame piece of crap totally waste totally waste of sony's time totally waste of everybody's time even the viewers time don't forget to like share and subscribe to my social media and the youtube channel ha <sighs> hopefully i'll be away all right till the next movie i don't know which one um so till that you take care try and avoid mib international i'll take a leave and uh, hopefully i become sane again so until next time stay sleepy bye bye now